Hi, welcome to Chem with Chem. In today's session, we will work question five from chemistry paper two of the January 2019 sitting, and that's the CXC CSEC chemistry, a mouthful. If this is your first time to the channel, then please check out all the other materials that are here. Leave a like if you find value, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you will never miss out when new content is added. Let's dive in. This is organic chemistry. And of course, a third of paper two is organic chemistry, seeing that there are three modules, two questions from each module. Now, um, let's just begin. Compound D, CH3, CH2, CH2, COOH, has a very unpleasant smell and a bitter taste. Bitter? We have COOH, shouldn't that be a sour or an acrid or something taste like that? Anyway, part one, name the homologous series to which compound D belongs. Now, the moment we see COOH, then something should be going off in our head because COOH is the carboxylic group, which tells us that we're talking about um, an acid. So this is what we would call the carboxylic acids or the, we call them the alkanoic, alkanoic acids. I've heard a student call it the pig acid because they all end in oic. Carboxylic acids or alkanoic acids. Part two, draw the fully displayed structural formula of compound D and write its name. So we have three CH2, CH2, COOH. So this would look like one, two, three, four. Okay, and as usual, each carbon must be taking part in four bonds. Carbon is tetravalent. So that's what compound D would look like. That's the structural formula. And the name of compound D would be butanoic acid. Bute for four, four carbons. The carbon that's a part of the functional group is counted as well in the name. Part B. Compound D reacts with ethanol to form the sweet smelling compound E. Write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction between compound D and ethanol to form compound E. All right, so we're just going to use the condensed um, formula just to make things fit. So we'll start out with compound D, CH3, CH2, CH. 2COOH, which is a liquid, it's ethanol, CH3, CH, 2OH, and to give, well, we need acid and we need reflux. That's the condition. And the compound the products will be CH3. Let's draw the acid portion first. CH3, CH2, CH2. And now for the new bond that we have in the middle, the ester bond or the ester linkage, COO, CH2, CH. Three, water. Oh, this is legible. Thankfully, there's audio to go with this. Part two, 
suggests the conditions for the reaction between compound D and ethanol. So we need reflux, we need heat, well, reflux denotes that heat is going to be present. We need sulfuric acid as a catalyst. That should be it. State the type of reaction that occurs between compound D and ethanol. So organic acid and alcohol. Alcohols, they react to give us an ester, and the process is called esterification. Part C. Compound D reacts with sodium metal to produce a salt of compound D and a gas. Part 1. Write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction between compound D and sodium metal. Wow. So we get in reactions of organic compounds, left, right, and center. So let's um, begin. Acid, so it's the same acid we've been using, compound D, CH3, CH2, CH2, CO, OH. The liquid, and that's going to react with sodium, which is a solid. And this will give us, okay, and let's just put in blue so we can differentiate the products. Um, this will give us CH3, CH2, CH2, COONA, which is in A plus medium plus hydrogen gas, H2. And we have hydrogen gas present, which tells us that, well, we have H2. Let's see if we can make that more pronounced. H2 gas, which tells us that we have an extra hydrogen on the right-hand side. So normally it would be three hydrogen, three plus two, five plus two, seven plus two, nine. So nine, we have nine hydrogens on the right, but we have three plus two, five plus two, seven, eight on the, on the left. The only way to, to actually get this to be balanced would be to put a two here, because that's the only way we can increase the number of hydrogens on the left-hand side. When I put a two there, Everything, the CH3, CH2, CH2, COH, all of that is times two. So we would need to put a two here to get that in order. But when we do that, we realize that the sodium now is two on the right. So to balance that, we put a two in front of the sodium on the left. And that should give us two marks. Part two. Describe one test that could be used to identify the gas, that's hydrogen. So we would insert, let's just get this down. So we'd insert a lighted splint over the mouth of the test tube and it will put out the flame with a popping sound or with a squeaky pop, depending on the amount of the gas that's present. And that tells us that hydrogen is there because hydrogen is explosive. Part three, state whether the salt formed will be soluble in water 
giving a reason for your answer. So it's soluble. And that's because it's a sodium salt. So all salts of sodium are soluble. And that would give us two marks. One mark for saying soluble, one mark for the reason. And just like that, we got 50 marks. And if it seems like this is taking less and less time, then that's the point. It comes with practice. The more you practice, then the easier this will become. So thank you again for joining Kim with Kim. Please like if you found value, share with your friend. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified each time content like this is added. So as we always say, see you in the next video.